Let's kick things off with the big story on Capitol Hill today, uh, where there was a major hearing that could determine the future of TikTok. A rare display of bipartisanship today for the grilling of TikTok's CEO on Capitol Hill. The executive of the controversial and incredibly popular app facing some tough questions about child safety, data collection, and its Chinese ownership. The chair of the committee today says that TikTok should be banned. We do not trust TikTok will ever embrace American values. Values for freedom, human rights, and innovation. TikTok has repeatedly chosen the path for more control, more surveillance, and more manipulation. Your platform should be banned. That's right. We don't need a Chinese company stealing our data and spying on us. That's a job for American companies. <laughs> USA! 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 Of course, a ban will affect me personally because, as many of you know, I have a huge following on TikTok. <laughs> Thanks to my unboxing videos, <laughs> my makeup tutorials, <laughs> and of course, my dance moves. Yeah! I invented this one. Now, aside from the uh, hearing in the House today, there's another hearing in the Senate next week, which I think might go a bit like this. <laughs> when is TikTok <laughs> going to release an app for my flip phone? <laughs> that, that's what I want to know. Our, our, our fear is that you're, you're spying on, on Americans. <laughs> and my, my question is whether you've been spying on Donald Trump. And if so, could you please share that data with the prosecutors? <laughs> I want. I want your assurances that if TikTok is banned, China won't retaliate by closing Hunan Balcony, the, the restaurant near my house. <laughs> because that's where the Schumers eat on Christmas. They make, they make a wonderful mushu pork. I know it's not kosher, but it's, you know, it's Christmas. <laughs> I'm worried about <laughs> the use of artificial intelligence because I have seen a deep fake video out there of me saying that I trust Brett Kavanaugh <laughs> to uphold Roe v. Wade. Can you change that <laughs> to me saying I don't trust him? Because that's what I said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's move to Florida, which I know is something, I know that's something a lot of old Jews say, but that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> we all know that last year, Governor DeSantis passed the so-called Don't Say Gay Bill, which banned, <laughs> it banned teachers from discussing sexual orientation or gender identity with students in kindergarten through third grade. Well, guess what? DeSantis is now announcing that he plans to expand the law to cover students all the way through high school. So this don't say gay law is terrible. Luckily, although, it, it doesn't say you can't sing about being gay. <laughs> being gay, being gay is an equally valid way to be a person today. Anyway, good luck in English class. 
uh, Florida teens. I, I, I think you'll really enjoy reading classics like Moby Large Whale with no <laughs> subtext whatsoever. <laughs> and finally, here's some fascinating news from the worlds of science and music. And the Associated Press says scientists analyzed DNA from Beethoven's hair nearly 200 years after his death. They're looking for clues about the celebrated composer's many health problems and his hearing loss. They found information about the liver disease that is widely believed to have killed him, according to a study. It includes a genetic risk for liver disease, plus a liver-damaging hepatitis B infection in the last months of his life. I am so impressed by the science, but do we really need to know how Beethoven died? I feel like <laughs> most people living in the 19th century died from living in the 19th century. <laughs> now, if you're wondering how someone was able to get Beethoven's hair, remember, he was deaf. It's not, you know, it's not too hard to sneak up on a deaf person <laughs> playing piano and snip off a souvenir. Now, I'll admit, I did the exact same thing multiple times, mainly to Ray Charles. <laughs> hey, look, if we have the guy's DNA, I can't be the only one thinking it. Let's make a Beethoven Jurassic Park. <laughs> I, for one, would love to see the brilliant composer of the Fifth Symphony eat Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. <laughs> For more on this scientific breakthrough, we turn to Michael Costa. <laughs> Michael, this is a uh, this is a pretty amazing discovery, isn't it? I guess so, you know. But when scientists dig someone up to study their DNA, it's an amazing discovery. But when I do it, it's a felony. I, I mean, <laughs> yes. But still, it, it is amazing that we can learn how Beethoven died just by analyzing his hair. Well, and it's not just Beethoven, Al. Thanks to these cutting-edge discoveries, scientists can finally learn how all sorts of historical figures died. I mean, for example, you know, after analyzing a DNA sample from Julius Caesar, we now know that he died from being stabbed to death. <laughs> right. right, of course. Shakespeare. Who? William, William Shakespeare, the legendary... Playwright. Al, I'm not a literature guy. I'm a scientist, okay? And oh, how about this little tidbit? President Abraham Lincoln shot in the head. <laughs> By John, John Wilkes Booth. John Wilkes Booth. I'm not a historian. I'm a scientist, <laughs> Al. You think they just give this lab coat to anyone? No. And that's why, through empirical evidence, I now know that how JFK died also. Yes, we know he, he was shot in the head. What the f***? Al, did, did someone leak this report to you? No. It, it's just that your science o only seems to be confirming well-known historical facts. Okay. Well, I bet you didn't know how Queen Elizabeth died. Well, she was 96, so I'm guessing natural, natural causes. No. It, meth overdose. Okay. <laughs> yes. Turns out the old girl couldn't handle a little Kensington crank at her age. Look, and that's a lesson for all you kids out there. Don't wait too long to try meth. <laughs> that is a terrible lesson, Michael. Michael Costa, everyone. Thanks, Al.